Um, I define good hair as... I think everyone has good hair. I don't think there's like a good hair type like this hair versus that hair, but I think it's a growth process. And I think people often refer to good hair as what is socially acceptable, but that's not what good hair is. Like just because your hair is, my hair is kinky and coily. And as a child, my brother has like big ringlets of hair. Like people used to walk up to him and, you know, think he was a Dominican little boy. And I used to just be like, oh my gosh, his hair is beautiful. And I'm, my hair is nappy, but I was a child and I didn't understand that my hair is beautiful. So I think that good hair is accepting yourself and knowing that you're beautiful, but there's not a certain type of hair that's good or bad. I totally agree with her about good hair and bad hair. I hear that term a lot. Like, I know from my sister and I, we have different grades of hair. Um, she has very soft, long hair. My mom said, that's the Indian, huh? And then I had the wild, kinky hair. There's no, there's no good or bad hair. You know, hair is hair at the end of the day. You know, I would say there's a bad hair day, yes. <laughs> but good hair and bad hair, there's, there's, I don't understand the term, where it comes from. Hair is hair, it's beautiful, no matter how you wear it, rock it, own it, you know, and I love it. I said, you know, embrace it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful.